Hello guys, Steve Hirsch, NRC, and I got the good old Jenny 8 here, and I took off my plastic bead locks with the Super Swamper Rocks tire. These are uh, All Star, the uh, Proline Hyrax clones. I took these beauties off. Let's put them aside. I got some blue treel wheels these are awesome the bead in the middle is steel I stuck a magnet on it they're really heavy they're nice so I got the blue ones and I never had a real pair of the Proline crawler tires the Hyrax I don't even know if I have any real Proline crawler tires I don't know but anyhow I got them here and we're gonna put the rims on with the Hyrax and then we'll see what it looks like on the good old Gen 8. I think it's going to look like a beauty. Alright, we got the bead locks here. Let's open up a pair of these tires here. These are the Predator Compound. The 1.9 Hyrax. Oh, they have a thing you just tear. Oh my god, they're so gummy, you can pick them up by the sticker. Mmm, <laughs> they smell good. Alright, we got those. Now, for these wheels, we got six lugs for the front cap and five for the rear. So I gotta take this center cap off right here. I'll show you how to go together. They come apart. Actually, I, I gotta get. There's two different sizes you gotta use on here. They only put one in the front cap to hold it, and two in the back. What is this? 564 for the rear and the front was a let me see if I can see it 1.5 millimeter for the front lugs lugs <laughs> screws and that's how they come apart the back piece with five to hold the tire so you don't have to put a lot of I know some of them have that bead lock ring with like 50 of them that's crazy here's what they look like and I'll just show you this is steel let me get a magnet check this out it's really hefty steel trio steel center that's awesome all right I got some thread lock here on the top of this little container so I guess we get tire we put the uh, metal ring in there just like that center it make sure the foams not kinked or anything At least that's what I do with mine. It's hard to get them in the center. That should be good, just like that. I don't know if you guys can see in there. Then you got the blue dot for the compound, so you know it's a predator compound. You want that on the back side, so put the front on here. Just checking if you get any foam in between here. All right, then you put your back part in and you line it up with the screws the best you can. Just like that. Everything looks good, lined up. 
now I want to put some thread lock on here you just want to put a little dab just like that press down and start one up there it is and you want to get another one do the same a little thread lock do the opposite side you put one there put one there Torque them down, not all the way, and then once you have them in, you can put your other ones in. I gotta get them out of this package here. They pack these really nice, just like that. Wheels here, wheels here, and all the screws. There they are. Just open up this little bag here. Pour a couple out. When you tighten these down, you just want to basically bottom them out and then just turn them a hair. You don't want to sit there and, and torque these. You'll mess up these tiny threads if you overdo it and you'll end up stripping out a wheel they're going really easy these uh, feed locks do it in like a star pattern I don't think it really matters. But I'm trying to show you guys here. And just bottom them out. The thread lock will hold. You don't want to torque them real crazy. I can feel them. They just bottom out. Give them a little, little bit more. Bottomed out. Just a little bit more. These things are easy. And that's it. How fast was that? Look how nice they fit. Another thing is I'm not going to put a hole in my tire. Because these are pretty soft. And I go through a lot of water and stuff. So I'm going to leave them just like this. I'll put the rest together and show you the truck when it's done, but I'll put the one on here just to show you guys what it looks like. Put it on the rear. Fits real nice. We got wheel nut. I'm going to put some thread lock on this also. I know I had a little screwdriver here somewhere. Where is it? There it is. I just get the nut and I go from the back side. I put a little dab inside. Just like that. I'm used to doing that for when I have the nuts like they go on the plastic wheels when you put it in through the back you won't get any on the wheel to crack it well it doesn't really matter for these because they're aluminum put this beauty on t-wrench here And you can feel this just bottoms out. Just hold the wheel. 
give it a little more because that thread lock will hold. And that's what it looks like without the center cap. Now we're going to put this center cap on. I got to get these screws here. Take six of them. Push them out. Again with the one point, I can't see here, five millimeter. You just put a little dab at a thread lock. Again. Put that sucker in place. It's hard to do now because it's on the car and I'm trying to show you, but just like that. Don't tighten it all the way, just get it in there. These go together really nice. I'm surprised. Sometimes you get bead locks and you're sitting there forever trying to get them to work. These uh, screws are like stainless steel also. So you don't have to worry about them getting all rusted up. Because they're stainless, they don't stick on your wrench. <laughs> One more, guys. And we'll see how it looks when I torque these up. Again, you just want to bottom these out like that. Give it a little tug. Bottomed out, a little tug. You don't want to put a lot of pressure on these little screws and the thread lock you put will hold it and that's it for the one wheel let me show you what it looks like check it out let me see if I uh, get my little light here so you guys could see it Check that out. They're sweet looking. Alright. I'm going to put all the rest of them on. And then I'll show you the truck when it's done guys. So far. The build on these. It's awesome how they're carved out. Everything looks real sharp and neat and precise. And uh, they go together so easy, so it's great. I never had ones go together. It's, even the plastic ones were harder to put than these. All right, I'm going to continue, and I'll show you the Gen 8 when it's finished. And you guys could let me know what you think about them. All right, guys, you could see there, it's a little close to the tire, the steering tie rod. I don't trust it. It probably will work, but what I found, so I use these a lot. Stampede, I think they're the two-wheel drive, the rear ones, the wide hexes. I put that on there and it'll space it apart because you can see the difference right there. You'll get that much more space, so that's what I'm going to do. I'll show you it when it's done. Alright guys, she's finished. There she is with the nice blue trail wheels and the new Proline Hyrax. Let me know what you think about the Jenny 8. That's my nickname for her. I call her the Jenny 8. <laughs> Guys, I appreciate you all watching. Leave me a like if you dig the rig. Leave a comment. It's always nice. And if you're new to the channel watching, please subscribe. I appreciate everyone and my shenanigans that have been with me forever. Thank you, guys. And there she is. Hopefully one time you'll see her out on the trail with these new trail rims. They're beauties. I like them a lot. Highly recommend them. They go on real easy. Best ones ever. 
Thanks, guys. See you next time. Shin RC out.